passage that's just been heavy on me this morning that God's been working in my heart is from Ephesians 5, 15 and 16. Here's what we read. Pay careful attention then to how you walk, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. I love what Paul says there and, and it says, make the most of the time because the days are evil. I think what he's pointing us to there is there is a spiritual battle in our world. Uh, and it's not just going on today. It's been going on for decades and, and hundreds and thousands of years since the really the fall in the garden. And I think what he's pointing us to is 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 that oftentimes what Satan uses and, and what we allow to be used even in our hearts and our sinful selves to distract us from the things that we need to be doing the, the gospel conversations we need to be having, the, the discipleship we need to be doing, is busyness. And if there is one fix that what we're having right now gives us, is it slows down our busyness. We're going to have a little more time over the next couple of weeks, and maybe longer than that. We'll see what happens. But one thing we can do in that is we can make the most of it. We can make the most of it. We, we can pout. We can pout about not being able to go out to restaurants. We can pout about not being able to, to come and worship together. Man, look, if there is anybody that wants to, the church to worship together more than me, I don't know who they are. Uh, that, 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 my, my, my week is built around both investing in people and discipleship and Sunday morning. And so hear me, I want us to get back together. But one great thing that God can do out of this is he can make us slow down and stop being so busy all the time. I think that's what Paul's talking about. He, when, he, when he can join those two together, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Uh, there is an evil in this world, and, and so often we just get consumed with our calendar and what we have to do this next day and this week to get things done. Slow down. Over these next couple of weeks, slow down and make the most of this time. Use this time to invest in others. And, and, and I know what you're thinking. Well, I can't go to restaurants. I can't go to the gym. I can't build relationships. I can't be around people because we're basically on quarantine. Well, here's the awesome thing about the passage. I think this is the most awesome thing about the passage. Paul writes this from prison. And what he is challenging the church in Ephesus to do, he is doing as he writes a letter to them from prison, from inside a prison cell. Man, if there was ever anybody, Paul's not on quarantine. If there is ever anybody that can take the excuse of, you know what, I'm going to care for myself. I'm just going to rest. I'm going to sleep. I'm just going to take care of myself. It's Paul. And yet he makes the most of his time, even from a prison cell, to invest in other people. Church, don't waste this time. Use this time to invest in people. You don't have to write a letter like Paul did. You can send an email. You can send a text. We have cell phones now. You can call somebody. Use social media for great reasons like that, for eternal purposes. But make the most of this time. Uh, we're going to quickly get back to our busy schedules. We're going to quickly be able to worship together again, to go about all our Bible studies and meetings and all that stuff. So don't waste this time, but instead use it for God's glory and not yours. All right? Have an awesome, awesome Wednesday. I'll see you on here tomorrow, and I'll see you on our online worship this Sunday. But make the most of today.